on YouTube, Cats 7 here for episode number 4 of my Manchester United career mode on FIFA 16, lads you are killing it with the support you're giving this series, honestly from the bottom of my heart you guys are an absolute legends. Now today we've got three games, first time in the series, I'm actually using the full game today so hooray for that and another thing, just a little quick little note lads, I am listening to the comments section, you guys are so wrapped with the idea that with the uh, pre and post match uh, press conferences, you guys are loving it but at the same time a lot of you guys are saying hey that's such a good idea but don't abuse it. Don't use it every single game, use it for the big games. Now, in this episode, we do have Liverpool, our first Champions League game, but I'm thinking, you know what, that they are special occasions, but we're still so early on in the season. So obviously, I'm gonna be saving it for the big matches later on in the season. But anyways, lads, let's get to the first game. We are playing Liverpool at home at Old Trafford. Come on, let's beat the Scousers. Right, so for this game against Liverpool, lads, I'm using a 4-3-3 formation. Uh, we had great success in the last episode with this formation. We've got Memphis, Rooney, one matter up top. In the middle of the park, lads, we've got Schweinsteiger, Schneiderlin, Herrera. And at the back, lads, we've got Shaw, Rojo, Smalling, and Damian. Anyways, we've got De Gea in goal. Now, I've also decided to play Rojo over Daly Blind just because they got Ben Teke. He's a big lad, and I don't think Daly Blind, you know, has enough strength uh, to accommodate uh, Ben Teke. So, Rojo gets the start for us. Here we go, here we go. United versus Liverpool, my favourite fixture of the season, the one at Old Trafford. So pumped about this, lads. If we get a result here today, I will be one happy man. Right, here we go. Come on, United. Let's bury the Scousers and cement our spot in the uh, top four of the league. Come on, United. Let's take it to them. I'm psycho. Benteke. Well done, Rojo. See that? There's strength. Benteke couldn't handle him. That's why I want him to start today. Happy with Marcus Rojo. Geez, not with that pass, though. Jesus. All right, we're 25 minutes into this game. Not much going on at all. Bit of a midfield battle, but uh, midfield battle with no chances being created. Come on, give it to Mata. Run Mata, lovely. Give it to Rooney. Come on, give it to Memphis. Is he onside? Memphis has a shot. No, Memphis didn't eat eyes offside. That was our best chance for the game and we didn't even have a shot. Here we go, lads. Half time, nil, nil. Bit of a ball fest, but the longer that half went on, the better we got. Tell you one thing, Schneiderlin is really, really good at tackling on this game. Tell you what, Herrera, can you find Mata? Mata, a bit of space. Well, Mata hits it. The best of shots, but we're creating. I'm happy. All right, Memphis on the wing. What can you do, son? Lovely. Memphis, nice. Lay it off. Have a look at Schweinsteiger. Oh, so close. Jesus, Benteke. Oh, no. No way. Coutinho, one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, De Gea. What a boss! What an absolute boss! Oh my gosh, what a save from Dave. And there we go, lads. The full time whistle goes. A nil, nil draw with Liverpool. Fairly disappointing in the end. We had a lot of possession. We just couldn't convert that into chances, let alone goals. So uh, let's go check out the match facts. Right, so man of the match for this game was for sure David De Gea. For Sinkley, just that one save he made right at the end for Coutinho. My word, what a save that was. That's man of the match right there, in my opinion. Yes, lads, PSV away. Our first Champions League game on FIFA 16. Right, lads, so for the game in a Champions League against PSV, I've made a lot of changes, including the formation it's still 4-3-3 but this one's more advanced can you see Mata there he's in the camp he's a lot closer to Rooney up front but anyways lads few changes Memphis up top with Rooney but Ashley Young in form have a look at him gonna give him a start he deserves a chance and it was in the middle lads we've got Carrick bringing him back one Mata and uh, Fellaini in the middle of the park anyways lads we've got Daly Blin on the left we're giving uh, Luke Shaw a rest and Daly Blin can do a job there at left back Paddy McNair a Man United Youngster, brilliant season, uh, last one for Man United, so he deserves a start. Uh, Chris Smalling, captain at the back, and Valencia at right back. I know it's not really what I want to do, but when Damian needs a rest, and De Gea in goal, he is in form. <laughs> Right, 
Right, here we go. Back in the Champions League. It was great to hear that theme song again. Always pumps me up. Lads, we need three points here today. We go on top of the table, hopefully, if we grab all three points. Anyways, come on, United. Let's have a cracking game. Right, Jetro Willems. He's a little beast, this kid. Tell you what, if you're doing a career mode, I highly recommend him. i tell you what, we need to stop him now. Gets the shot away, De Gea. And that is a goal. Dio. Oh, nah. Here I am just pumping up Jetro Willems, and he has just punished me. The guy is a jet. i tell you what, De Gea had a double save there, but unlucky with that last one. Pushed it into the own net, but what do you do, lads? We go down 1-0. Memphis to Rooney. Oh, jeez, just lose the ball too easy. A simple pass like that just cannot be done on FIFA 16. It just cannot be done. Oh, nice. Rooney, give it to Ashley Young. All right, Ash, cross it in. Who's in there? Nobody. I'll tell you what, Antonio Valencia got his head on there. He wasn't that far away, you know. A first good chance of the game that falls to our right back. Oh, side netting, son. Well done, Mata. Good stuff. Away we go. Young, give it to Rooney. He's in space. Is that Memphis? Come on, Memphis. Make a run. Oh, Rooney, you're killing me, son. You are absolutely killing me, Wayne. Get there. Smalling. Oh, well done, Chris Smalling. Oh, it's a good foul. Ain't shoulder on shoulder, mate. Oh, referee. Fellaini to Pereira. First touch. Same with Martial. Come on, play Ashley Young. And they're passing, they're passing, they're passing in this game. <laughs> oh, it's a bad back pass. Valencia has a shot. Oh, no. Antonio Valencia hits the side netting again. He's had the two best chances of the whole game. And both times he's hit the side netting. Oh, Antonio. Well done, Pereira. Martial, here we go. Oh, Ashley Young. And there we go, lads. The full-time whistle goes. We have lost 1-0. Very disappointing. I'm not disappointing in so much the loss. I'm just disappointed in the lack of chances created. You know, I'm, I'm really, really struggling with the passing. You know, you've seen some games I feel really good. Some games like this one and the Liverpool game, I feel really bad. Hopefully the next game, lads, we have a few chances, score a few goals. As we look at our match facts there, lads, two shots, zero on target. Possession, it edged away of PSV. Very, very embarrassing there. Just shows we're struggling with the chances created. So as we take a look at our table in the Champions League, lads, we are in third spot. But the good thing is, lads, there's still five games to go. So I'm not even concerned about not being in a top two at the minute. All right, lads, so we're on to the last game of the episode. We're away to Southampton. Mixing up the formation, changing it to a 4-5-1. We need to create more chances. So bringing on the man himself, Martial, playing up top. Now, Memphis is not in form. We need to get him in form. So, Memphis on the left. Uh, Rooney, one matter. In the middle of the park, lads, Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin against his old team. That's why he's in over Herrera. All right, at the back, lads, we've got uh, Luke Shaw, Daily Blin uh, back at center half. Smalling, he's been a champion. And Damian at right back. And, of course, De Gea in goal. Here we go, lads, at St. Mary's Stadium against Southampton. Eagerly awaited game. I'm looking forward to it. But, lads, we need to create chances in this game. It's what I'm most worried about. Come on, United. Let's go. Tell you what, it's not the best of starts. Shane Long's inside. Shane Long! Oh, my God. David De Gea. Look, we're literally like 30 seconds into this game. We can see the corner. Smalling. Come on, Smalling against Rodriguez. Tell you what, Smalling's still there. Come on, Chris. Chris has ripped me. Deflection. No, get it out. Memphis, thank you. Rooney. Oh, come on, Wazza. You've been poor lately. Lads, we are against it here. We're on the back rope. Stanley Blind. Get it out. Oh, well done, Memphis. Good. Have a look at this. Martial. Rooney. Hit it. Rooney. Oh, created a save. I'm take that. I'll take that. This episode's been so poor for me so far. I'm going to take a good shot on target. We made the keeper work for once. Here we go, lads. Half time. That half was much better than what we've recently played, but still haven't created all too many chances. Hopefully, something can open up in the second half and we can take advantage. Gives it to Damian. Opens it up. Here we go, Damian. Give it to Mata. Holds it up well. Ah, the passing in this game is killing me. 
Oh no, Shane Long. Shane Long's in behind. No! Oh, he's off the crossbar! Oh my gosh, lads. Oh, that was close. Get it out, lads. And I tell you what, run away on a counter attack. Yeah, Schweinsteiger. Just wanted to through ball. Just wanted to get that out of there. We were that close to being 1 0 down. Alright, lads. 20 minutes to go, and we need a hero making some subs. But more importantly, I'm bringing on James Wilson. Can he be our savior? Tell you what, he'll be a hero if he gets a goal in the next 20 minutes. Oh no, Rodriguez is in. Oh no. no. As if that's happened. As if that has happened. Oh, lads. I pushed forward. I went attacking towards the end, lads. And uh, at that risk that we're going to concede. Damn. Look at this. Danny Blint. Danny Blint holds the ball up well. Oh, he loses the ball there. There we go, lads. The full-time whistle goes. And we have lost 1-0 back to back. So disappointing. That is absolutely gutted with that result. We were in the top four. Let's see where we're going to drop to now. Right, here's the match facts again, lads. We get nudged out of possession yet again, but only one shot on target the whole game. That is so disappointing. Two shots for the whole game. Mate, that's embarrassing. Man of the match goes to the winner, Tadic. And of course, lads, for us, the uh, man of the match, or the, our best player, was uh, Luke Shaw. Ex-Southampton player. Says it all, really, done it? <laughs> Alright, lads, so as we take a look at the table, it's not that bad. We dropped to 8th position from 4th to 8th. But, lads, we're only 4 points away from top spot. 6 games into the season, we are truly in with contention here. I know the results haven't been good this episode, but, lads... Early on, and, and get your comments down below. I want to know, is it just me struggling with the uh, chances being created or with the passing being so much harder? Is it me? Is it just... I don't know. I don't know. That, let's get your comments down below. Uh, should I be changing formation? Should I be changing personnel? I'll be definitely reading the comments. Uh, I, I like the formation 4-3-3, but get your uh, opinions down below. But make sure you stay tuned. We're at home to Sunderland in the next episode. So there's got to be goals there. If we're not scoring goals against Sunderland, we are struggling. And uh, we've got uh, Wolfsburg in the Champions League as well. But like always, let's please drop a like on the episode. You guys have been killing it so far. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Heaps of career mode content and a brand new Ultimate Team series coming your way very, very soon. But anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis 7 Take care and peace. Manchester United have sacked manager Louis van Gaal after just 15 months in the job. On Monday, there had been widespread speculation regarding Van Gaal's future with several national newspapers suggesting the club's owners had already made the decision to relieve the Dutchman of his duties.